Hello and welcome. So one of the other greatest compliance tools that we have is retention policies. Retention policies are always very important. For example, when you go to compliance management and click on retention policies, so retention policies tells you that how long or how uh, for how much time do you want to keep your emails your mailboxes your data that you have in your exchange so retention policies uh, allows you to uh, just uh, group retention tag and apply them to the user for example you can sp specify uh, a retention to a specific user and to just tell them that uh, uh, delete it after one month delete it for after one week one year or uh, based on different policies so retention policies that you see in here is linked with retention tax so let let's see how it works for example when I uh, just try to click in here and um, it, it asks me for a new retention policy name and then it ask, asks me for retention tax so the thing is that uh, before creating a retention policy, you have to create a retention tag. So, retention tags are visible to end user and can be used to specify when items in user mailboxes will be moved to archive or removed from the mailbox. So, uh, most of the organizations, let me just give you an example. In most of the organization, they have different set of policies where they say all uh, where they say that okay. We have got 10,000 users. Uh, do you think it's really a good idea to keep old emails for all users? Sometimes it is not. You really don't want to keep old emails. Uh, you want to uh, delete it from user's uh, uh, Outlook or user's mailbox because you want to save space. Uh, these days, the storage is very expensive. So what you can do is you do not want to keep old uh, email messages so that's why you set retention text telling uh, telling the exchange hey exchange uh, delete all uh, old uh, emails emails that are like 60s 60s days old delete it from users uh, uh, inbox and you can also say that uh, archive them you can also say that move them to a different folder so that's why you use retention uh, so now, in order to configure retention, you, first thing that you can do is retention tags. So the things that you see in here, they are like default uh, retention tags that are created. But we will just create a new one uh, and then ap apply automatically to entire uh, mailbox, apply automatically to default folder, apply uh, by user item or folder. So this is personal. So right now we do not want to uh, uh, apply it for entire mailbox. We just want to uh, uh, select the personal and then I'm just going to name it that uh, finance uh, department emails uh, retention and then uh, delete and allow recovery permanently delete delete move to archive so now these three options if you ask me which one should we select I'll say all depends based on your company's policy your company says I want to delete the mailboxes uh, your the emails but I want to allow recovery maybe in future uh, we, we will need one of the emails so we want to we want to just uh, do a recovery but still it's gonna occupy some space in your uh, exchange uh, server and if you say permanently delete it will permanently delete it if it if you say move to archive it will just move to archive so that you can just uh, recover it or uh, just move uh, copy uh, whatever emails you need so I'll just say delete and allow recovery retention period uh, retention period is like uh, uh, as you can see that specify the period in days after which the selected retention action should be applied select never to never and have the uh, selected move or delete action applied so if I click never it's gonna uh, have no retention period so if I say uh, whenever uh, it reaches 100 days for example uh, in days so in days it is going to be let me try uh, you can move items uh, 
in days for example 60 days i want to say 60 days so whenever uh, it reaches the retention time of 60 days delete it and allow recovery so what it's gonna do is it's gonna delete and then allow recovery and it is going to be applied to uh, uh, users uh, items and folders so save once you click on save in here now you can see that it will uh, just do what <coughs> it will uh, delete after 60 days and then uh, it will be temporary recoverable so after for example after 60 days it will be deleted for another uh, for example 30 or 60 days uh, based on uh, what Microsoft uh, have got there on uh, retention date that, that, that the days that uh, you have which is I think 30 days um, and then after that it will be deleted so once you have configured this what you can do now is you can add a policy in here and then say uh, finance retention uh, policy and then add your tag in here so i'll simply add my tag in here and then press ok save now it is in here now if you say how can we apply it to a specific user you can simply go to users properties and then uh, if you go to uh, mailbox future feature retention policy finance retention policy so now what we did is that we applied that uh, personal uh, contents and folder policy for the retention which is going to delete after delete those uh, emails after 60 days uh, uh, is go is applied to Jeff Green's email who is like uh, uh, finance department user so that's how you can configure retention uh, and retention is very important always make sure that you follow your company's rules and standards and policies for the retention like for how much period of time you want to keep your emails and when do you want it to be deleted and after deletion do you want to archive it or do you want do you, you don't want to archive it so most of the time for most important uh, users that we have in our organization we always want them to be archived because we always will need their emails so uh, make sure that you are not applying uh, one month retention to important uh, mailboxes where they have important emails important confidential and important data because once it is deleted uh, um, uh, of once once it reaches the temporary period and it is deleted uh, you will not be able to recover it so i hope that you have learned something from retention policy and i'll see you next video